amid our test drive of the 2018 Regal GS, Buick took us to Atlanta Motorsports Park and contracted trick drivers to show us easy-going riders how to complete a J-turn. It's a crisis move, otherwise called a Rockford, in which the auto turns around at full speed, turns 180 degrees and takes off the correct inverse way from where it was going. It symbolized superbly Buick's expectations for the Regal GS, its most goal-oriented endeavor yet at a genuine American games car. Buick is attempting to shake off many years of disgrace as a creator of Grand Prospect Wafters. Since 2008, it has been rebadging the Opel Insignia, created by GM's German auxiliary and inherent Russell Schein, as the Regal. In 2012, Buick resuscitated the Regal GS identification, giving force from a 2.0-liter turbo 4, at first at 270 pole yet then detuned to 259 horsepower in 2014 as AWD was presented. Buick had high any desires for testing the extravagance crates, and keeping in mind that the past Regal GS got great surveys as an honest-to-goodness sports car, it never truly got on in the commercial center. Buick went for broke by rethinking the brand, in any case, it wasn't exactly sufficiently effective to be expressed in an indistinguishable breath from BMW, Mercedes-Benz and Lexus. The 2018 Regal GS pairs down on that grand objective with a superior fleshed-out form of the active auto. It comes back with enhanced styling and considerably more power, civility of a normally suction 3.6-liter V6 producing 310 drive and 282 pounds to foot of torque. At the end of the day, the new GS is up 40 steeds, yet down 13 pounds to foot with a motor that comes straight from the GM parts canister. Inside GM, it is known as the high-feature motor, utilized as a part of everything from Cadillacs to V6 Camaros to the GMC Acadia. Autoblog has thumped this motor on refinement yet by and large commended its energy, so it's a blended sack. On the Regal GS, however, the drivetrain showed a check change on the refinement front. Buick representative Stuart Fowle credited this to the new 9-speed program that's mated to, a brisk and smooth moving transmission all around modified to keep the motor at ideal revs. The outcome goes amiss a lot from the Opel Insignia, which maximizes with a turbocharged 2.0-liter inline-4 useful for 197 steeds and 300 pounds to foot with turbo 2.0-liter 4 is now the true passage-level motor for most extravagance car makers. Having the 3.6-liter V6 makes the 2018 Regal GS more particular, more American and to a lesser extent in European duplicate glue work than its ancestor. All-wheel drive is currently standard on the Regal GS, and it accompanies a dynamic twin-grip framework to allocate torque. The framework can convey 100% of the accessible torque to either front or back wheels, yet additionally coordinate that bend over the back pivot to either the left or right back tire contingent upon conditions. It dials in more backwheel predisposition if either sport or the more no-nonsense GS drive mode is chosen. Game and GS modes additionally fix the controlling and solidify the dampers, however every single one of these characteristics can customize on the off chance that you need, say, more exact guiding matched with a milder ride. The Regal GS even comes outfitted with the De Rigueur Extra of Execution trims, a couple of brilliant red Brambu calipers. Their front just looking out from behind thin-spoke 19-inch wheels for greatest impact. With all these driver-arranged treats, it influences you to ponder, who, precisely, is this auto for? GM is showcasing the Regal GS as a games car, shunning the muscle auto reps set up by the Grand Sports and GNs of Buick's past. In any case, Buick is additionally anxious to call attention to that it's not a vehicle, but rather a sport back. The brand's name for a general roofline outline whose back opening is a bring forth that incorporates the deck and glass territory. In fact, it's a five entryway since it doesn't have a conventional trunk, and you would incline toward it in the event that you don't call it a hatchback. That is not to remove anything from its styling. Indeed, an incredible inverse. The Regal GS is streamlined and nice looking with no of the undefined fastidiousness that is so on slant nowadays. It wears more butch front and back belts than the standard Regal, matched with inconspicuous side skirts and a thin cutting edge of a spoiler. Its lines are rigid, apparently extended over a smooth nose echoing and along an athletic body. Amid our drive through Georgia, we pulled up to an Atlanta Inn just to have the whole valet staff eye it here and there and besiege us with questions. That is a Buick? One asked, as though he had recently been thrown in one of those chafing TV plugs. 
I thought it was a BMW. We'd need to concur. Not about the BMW styling, in essence, since they all have a particular corporate face, however that the Regal is an appropriately attractive auto. Preferred proportioned over a Mercedes CLA and less frightening than a Lexus S, it's a solid change over the past Regal, whose shape, or deficiency in the department, included a great deal of visual mass. And additionally genuine mass, the new Regal GS tips the scales at 3,796 pounds, around 200 pounds less than the active model. The main thump, on the off chance that we were compelled to pick one, is that the look doesn't especially shout Buick. Say what you will about BMW, Lexus and Audi styling, however everyone has an unmistakable family similarity that permits even non-auto individuals to recognize them from far off. The Regal doesn't have Buick's customary openings, which had been moved to the hood on the past age. In truth, the Regal GS has the execution to move down its dashing lines. Amid our broadened drive, it handled the Peach State's mountain byways with sure self-restraint. Similarly a Cadillac CTS directed mid-2000s BMW driving elements, the AWD Regal GS showed taking care of more like a mid-2000s Audi than anything generally Buick. It cornered straight with insignificant body roll, even on tight clasps. The directing was precise and pleasantly weighted, particularly with GS mode on, however its electronic roots offered a bit less criticism than we'd like. It's practically identical to the electric wheel on the significantly more costly Infiniti Q50, not precisely high acclaim. While a manual gearbox isn't accessible, and maybe no longer an essential for a games vehicle, the Regal GS doesn't offer or shifters, either. Yet, we never felt like we required them, as the 9-speed knew how to keep the motor in its power bend and changed apparatuses with a skill and smoothness that didn't agitate the drivetrain. The Lodge was in general a decent place to get serious. It's roomier than that of a BMW 3 Series or Audi A4. The seats are all around reinforced and sufficiently cozy to keep you set up amid barrette slings without hampering entrance or being too hard on your back. With control 14-way alteration, drivers of pretty much any form will have the capacity to subside into an agreeable position. The auto has all the cutting edge accommodations and dynamic security fancy odds and ends also, versatile journey control, forward program braking, path keeping help and front person on foot recognition, when outfitted with the $1690 driver confidence 2 bundle that our analyzer had.